Hey guys, welcome to my channel, hope you're doing well. So Taurus, this video will be for you if you have any Taurus placements or if you are dealing with a Taurus. So guys, uh, let's see what you need to know. Let's see whatever. Let's see what you need to know for whenever you watch this reading, okay? I'm gonna start with two angel numbers. What you give, you will receive back. If, I want to say, please, there could, there could be a situation, it could be at work, in a relationship, in a friendship, the effort that you're just putting in in general, in different areas of your life, please don't feel like it's been, it's going unseen, okay? You may feel like, you know, sometimes when you're like, I, I could, it would be really nice to have a bit of praise, recognition, understanding, Respication, okay? Um, please understand that what you're doing, things that you're doing are not going unseen and it will be recognised, okay? So even though it could be quite disheartening to give and not see, the, um, let's, let's just say not always the energy that you're putting out, you always get back straight away, but it will be coming back to you in a good way. Please keep that up, whatever you're doing, okay? All right, so the cards that we got, um, that I got for you is 24 I am generous okay it says here you have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced stable relationships you are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer pro protector and provide all at once okay so if you guys are like oh this is tiring but I promise you it's going to be worth it some of you guys just need a little like a little like you know you're you you have been seen okay so please push through that and then we have 33 i am expanding i definitely am yeah because you might listen anyways enough about that i'm expanding any positive changes or projects you are considering right now will be worth your while okay expect that your power to manifest and create will be heightened OK, some of you guys are very close to completing something, achieving something, reaching a goal of some kind, even if it's not a goal, something that like a, it, it's just a great outcome. OK, please push through that. It will be different um, to all of you Tauruses, different areas of your life, but push through. OK, don't give up. All right. I want to use this deck today. Oh, I ordered a new deck of cards and I've been putting it off because I'm not going to lie. It was definitely on the more expensive side, but I was like, Do you know what? Like, I've been wanting that for about a year now. So I treated myself. It's my early Christmas present. Joke, you know, early, yeah. So that should be coming in a few weeks. Why did I even bring that up? So maybe you guys could be treating yourself as well. Anyways, don't know why I brought that up. Anyways, so Taurus, what can you tell me about Taurus, please? The Fool, the Nine of Cups, risk taking, you feeling satisfied, you feeling um, content, you feeling happy about a situation, the risk that you're taking, kind of goes back to what I was just picking up in, intuitively before I read the cards, okay? You may have to do something slightly different to how you've done things before or continue it if it's worked out for you in the past, okay? If it hasn't, switch up. Um, this is going to take bravery, courage. This is going to take, you may not know in everything. Say, for example, if it's a new job and you're like, okay, I got this new job, but I don't know how to do X, Y, Z. People don't mind explaining how to do things, you know, just as long as you're quick to learn you're listening do you know what i mean you're getting in there like you're good you're good you know sometimes that's all it takes um some of you guys it could be about a relationship it could be about you know what i've never traveled by myself before and i want to i've been putting this off these people keep on letting me down i've got the money i've got the time let me go and explore okay so it could be different things but i feel like something's gonna um it's gonna require courage from you Okay, 
coming up. Tell me more, please, about Taurus, the magician. I love that. There's different sides. You're, you are unraveling different sides of you that you didn't even thought was possible. Sometimes there's different things, depends on what energy comes out with each card. It depends on what comes out in my mind. But with the magician, with the energy that's come out so far, it's like the magician has the skills, has the tools, has the power, has the confidence as well to make things happen, to, to kind of um, put things out there into the universe, to create things. Okay. Strong um, Aries energy so far. Some of you guys could have Aries in your chart. Or it could be that just that fire energy that you're needing, which is also courage. And, you know, think if you think of the strength card, that's Leo's uh, fire. Um, the fool, the magician, both Aries. Tell me more. The five of cups and the two of cups. Now, I'm not sure if this is related now. So I'll say it as if it is, and then I'll say it as if it is, and I'll do two two stories. So two stories. Five of cups, two of cups. Some of you guys, it's about a breakup, about something that you're disappointed about in regards to a connection, a relationship. Whether or if you're single right now, it could be how you're viewing relationships, okay? I am getting this energy of missing somebody or if it's not somebody in particular, it's that, that, <sighs> that's crazy. Um, I just, I just saw a scene from Friends, this, the, the, um, the show, um, when um, Phoebe said, you're my lobster. Um Rest in peace, Matthew Perry, you know. But anyways, um, that's that's crazy. Some of you guys are like, I wish I had that person or that kind of connection. I'm wanting that again as well. So you could be, well, it could also be somebody thinking that way to, about you, somebody from your past. I wouldn't be surprised with what come out in your last reading, Taurus. So let's see. Tell me who this is about. It could be a water sign for some of you guys. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Four of Swords. Some of you guys are taking a break. You take, you're taking a step back. Then we've got the moon. You're re Okay, so this is... Okay. This is like you taking time. or e Either if you... Um, if it's um, intentionally or not, okay? Whether you decided that or if you was put in that situation where you're on a break from somebody or taking a stand back. This is taking time to really... Um, understand how you're truly feeling and what you want to do moving forward okay the six of pentacles i do see i if there's someone that you're dealing with i do see continued con um, um communication someone knows someone knows that you deserve more than what you've been given or what you received from them let me see what this person wants from you the hermit, the devil, the hermit and the devil, that's it, interesting. The seven of pentacles, I'm not going to lie, um, I do feel like someone is either they're going through a tough time it could be something as something like some kind of addiction over whether that's a food addiction, um, drinking other things, right? Gambling, just making it could just be poor choices, okay? Like temptation. Yeah, let's just say temptation. Someone has got some. Someone has got things that they really do need to work on. Um. Someone feels like their hands are tied as well at the moment. Someone's in conflict about you and where they, where it almost feels like right person, bad timing. Tell me more. 
the emperor. For some of you guys, it's about someone's work. Or the position that they have that is Aries again. Don't know why Aries is really... I mean, it's come up a few times. We've got Virgo there. We've got Capricorn, Cancer. Those are the strongest signs that have come out. It's like someone saying, keep going, keep... That's what I was saying. Oh, okay. That's what I was saying to you at the start of the reading. Keep going, keep pushing through. Maybe some of you guys are telling this to that person, this person that I'm picking up on. You could be saying the very same thing or at least f feeling that way. Like, oh, I wish they'd overcome this. I wish they'd, you know, figure this out, whatever it is. It's like someone is, someone is tempted by things. And what I, w I don't want everyone's mind to think about... Um, other people like like this person's tempted by other people it's not always the case it could be like somebody's really bad with money management you know um somebody could um you know have have addictions and stuff like that okay or trauma or things like that and it's like i hope they overcome this so it's not always an, another person okay judgment Someone's got a lot of guilt here, a lot of guilt. They're holding on, to, they're harboring a lot of guilt. The Queen of Wands. The Empress. Taurus. This, I don't, right, I, I need you to know this because some of you guys are probably thinking, what is going on in this person's head? Now, with a judgment, Queen of Wands and the Empress there, someone really does, they know, you see what I was saying before, someone does, someone um, knows that you deserve better from what the, than what you've been receiving from them, or in general, in, in, in friendships, relationships. Someone's like, they deserve to be treated like a queen, like an empress, like some, you know? And it's almost like, why are they... Why are they entertaining me? Okay, okay, all right. So, someone feels there and they think, and, and they feel like you're here. Okay? And this is not to just disrespect nobody now, okay? And you can flip the roles if you need to, cross watcher, however you feel is how you feel. But someone feels like they're there right now and you're there and it's like, it's gonna take them a while to get to where you are or even if it's how you feel about yourself, you know, like if you've got a lot of confidence or you overcome certain things, the energy that you, it's, um, that, that you kind of, you know, um, given off to the world, some, somebody doesn't feel like they're quite there yet. Let me see what this person's challenge is. The strength. Their ego for some of it as well. It could be as simple as asking for help, accepting help, okay? Or, or say, for example, um, you know, maybe the, maybe the generation before us, um, say, for example, like I'm in my 30s, our, our parents or our parents' parents, they would have looked um, at therapy as um, uh, getting therapy as being weak or things like that. Or speaking about your feelings as getting weak. It could be a pride thing, yeah? Tell me more, please. The Ace of Cups. A relationship. That's crazy because the Two of Cups is there and then Ace of Cups is right underneath. Like, there is this connection here. The Knight of, Pen the Knight of Pentacles. But it's, something's going too slow. Or, one of, like, I feel like... It could be you, Taurus, feeling like this is going a bit too slow. A little bit too slow like you see you see it's there you feel it's there you're not imagining things like you know it's there but at the same time it's like damn like let me just <sighs> i want it now like i want this now all right um yeah even there knight of, knight of pentacles and the four of swords like it's going slow there's there's these breaks i'm not sure if it's because someone's traveling for work it, it's not always addictions it, it could be something like where somebody lives at a distance and and just finding time to meet up with each other and stuff like that or maybe um 
your time zones are different and it's like when you're working they're they're, they're sleeping and or or wherever yeah there's some kind there's some kind of mix mismatch okay i'm gonna do a second story how are we doing i'm gonna do a second story so yeah i don't really feel like doing a certain um specific um topic so i'm just gonna do like story one story two so maybe you guys could be, could be both of yours or one of them's yours anyways second story for tauruses please What can you tell me about them, please? Seven of Pentacles, the Tower. This is like... I don't know why I just got that example. Why? Because it's not really where I was going to go, but I just saw it. You know, like when... like I don't go casino for example but you know like they got those um what do they call the fruit machines like the the at the casino or whatever they're called and it's like putting putting all your money in there and then like losing that's what it feels like seven of pentacles in the tower it feels like investing in something that's gonna kind of blow up or something that's not literally but something that's kind of gonna gonna um not gonna go anywhere that's okay but what, what is this about? The Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys, it could be about a job, about your work, certain studies. Some of you guys might be halfway through your studies and be like, I don't want to be a nurse. I want to be an engineer. Or I don't want to be a um, doctor. I want to be, I want to um, study music. Like some of you guys might be like, is this what I want to be investing my time and my energy into? Some of you guys may, some of you guys may, it could be as simple as maybe you have invested in, into something um, career wise, education wise, and you're learning something new. Okay, tell me more. The Five of Pentacles, the Five of Cups. I just getting like, oh, I wasted my time, the world. Why, why, why is this going on? Three of Wands. Some of you guys are waiting for this to be over. Some of, you, some of you guys are waiting for this to end. Some of you guys are seven of one. Some of you guys, it could be like retirement or something where something's dragging out. You feel like something's dragging out. Or some of you guys have also felt like you've been rejected, like you've put a lot of energy. It could be a relationship again as well, like you put energy into something and it hasn't gone the way you wanted. But I do get so someone feeling a sense of rejection. I don't really like this reading today, sorry. Ace of Swords. You will gain clarity. The Temperance, okay. The Eight of Swords. The Ace of Swords, the Temperance and the Eight of Swords. I f I'm going to be real with you. If you feel like there's a situation that you feel like is like beating a dead horse, um, release yourself. Release yourself. R release yourself. I don't know if it's a, if it's a, a job that you're over. Some of you guys could be um, could have had a job that's a, um, paying really well, but it's not what your soul wants. Or, you know, you could be over it or you don't like working with the types of people or whatever it is. Feels like you're ready for something new. All right, tell, give me some advice for Taurus. King of Pentacles. See, it's about your work. Nine of Swords. Seriously, all I've been saying. Look at look at that, guys. King of Pentacles and Nine of Swords. Something about your work is stressing you out, or something about how how you make money or your work is is being stressing you out. Okay. Maybe some of you guys are going to be doing overtime. It's Christmas coming up soon. We're in November. How, where's the year gone? But yeah, I felt it. I felt it. I'm not going to lie. Some of you guys already know this about me, yeah? See, even like, like Nana Swords in the Tower, like, yeah, something needs to kind of... Yeah. Yeah. Anyways... 
you see me before I started doing this, if I didn't like, I'm not saying you guys should do this, yeah, but if I didn't like a job or people there, I would literally be like, bye, bye, because it deeply depressed me. I'm not going to lie. I know everyone's situation is different. I know obviously different places of the world, you don't get support and stuff like that, you know, but um, in regards to, you know, like getting back into work and stuff like that. But it's, listen, yeah, I can't tell you how, like I've never been fired though. I've never been like, you know, oh, no, I, I, I just left. <laughs> I just left, I was over it. So um, don't do that to yourself, yeah. You deserve to be happy where you work. And even if it's not, it could be the actual job or it could be people at the job that you have an issue with. All right, anyway, I wanna move on from this. That was so specific. But what else can you tell me, please? Five of Swords. The Fool. you got to fight for something. There's something that you need to fight for. And I think it's yourself. I think it's yourself, your happiness. That's what you got to fight for, yeah? With what's come out prior, it's your happiness. That's what you need to fight for. What means something to you? Five of Swords, The Fool, The Hierophant. Okay. Ten of Swords. What is going on today? The Six of Swords. Yeah, you're not... You, this is you not being where you don't... This is you not staying where you don't feel welcome, yeah? The High Priestess. Some of you guys ain't even going to tell nobody. You're just going to go. You're just going to switch something up. Let me know. Let me know, um, please, in the comments, yeah, the second story. Is it about a relationship or is it about, about your work, your, your career or your studies? Let me know what that's about because I'm intrigued. I feel like it's more so to do with career, life path, that kind of thing. Yeah. But it can, I'm sure, I'm sure it could be like in regards to, you know, it, you know, everyone's different. But anyways, two of pentacles. Judgment. I'll see how things play out. I'll see how things play out. You need a plan. You need a plan. The just justice and the magician. You have to create this. So there's something that you need to create, Taurus, okay? There is something that you need to create that's going to go in your favour. Some of you guys might be great, great chefs, okay? Might be a great singer, something where you're good at naturally okay i don't know i feel like someone needs a bit extra support in regards to that area of their life um i feel like it'll be more fulfilling if you did create something of your own that you can work towards and you won't feel like you're wasting your time okay all right so i'm going to leave that there short reading today before i do a little extra one Also, I was just thinking, should I do a little, um, I had another deck. Which one was it that I used to use? Actually, no, this one should be okay. Let me do the situation, situation, love, oracle. Quick message, and I'll try and keep it under five minutes. So this is like three readings for you guys. I, was, I need to start spoiling you guys. All right, okay. Give me five cards, please. Passion. Not enough. Twin flames. The golden mirror and not today. I think I've just figured out what just happened in that reading. And I'm glad that I just did that. Can I just say this? Please don't be so focused or fixated. It's not, it's not for everybody, but whoever that resonated with today, this could even come up in the future where certain things may take you away from what um, you're passionate about. Please don't forget yourself when it in relationships and stuff like that. Please make sure that you're also fulfilling your dreams, your needs. Okay, things that you aspire to do to be. Yeah. 
I'll read what the card says, but especially with, the, with what come out, it made me feel like you're putting your energy a lot in one place and then somewhere else is kind of, is being kind of neglected, yeah? And then you feel disheartened because where you were, where, where you were putting your energy wasn't reciprocated and where your energy actually needs to be, it's lacking. And that's literally what's come out here. Passion, not enough, twin flames, the golden mirror, and this is what I always say, if you've been you be watching me for a while, you, you would, anytime Twin Flame stuff comes up, I say it's like a mirror. You have to, it makes you look at yourself. How are you acting? How are you responding? What are you doing with yourself? Yeah. Okay. Are you losing yourself? Okay. Is this the version of yourself that you like? You've got to look in the mirror and really look at yourself. Twin Flame, Golden Mirror. I'm going to, let's, 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 let's read it. Let's read it. Passion. Insane chemistry, sparks and having fun, equal interest and burning desire. So there's definitely passion between you and somebody or there will be, okay? So I'm not sure if this is person right now or if I'm predicting something, it's different for you all. We have not enough. It says lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear and frustrations. I picked up on that earlier in the reading when I said that something will require um, courage from you, yeah? Bravery. OK, um, I've seen that before. Twin flames. Yin yang and balance, union and duality, complement and polar opposites. All right. The golden mirror, narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, one sided okay and that's how you get drained and that happens a lot with 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 twin flames like it happens a lot all right the golden mirror and twin flames okay that happens a lot in those things and that's why that people lose themselves and that's why i don't subscribe to the whole twin flame thing like, you don't hear me i won't purposely bring it up unless it comes up like that you know um not today we have yeah boundaries and hurt avoiding conversation not dealing and still upset so somebody could be avoiding you somebody could be avoiding you where you put a lot of energy time trust all these things into somebody or situation some of you guys has a job maybe you've got a narcissistic uh, boss or manager or supervisor and you're like this person's making my life hell and you've got to deal with them every day you know and that's why i say sometimes i remember I oh Oh, I had one, one manager like that and I had to tell her about herself. Oh, I don't mind doing that. I don't mind doing that. I did not mind. <laughs> um, I don't regret it. I'll do it again. Yeah, don't ever... Like, some people really, they, they're not right, you know. They're not right. You can't just go around talking to, talking to people like anyhow and they ain't done nothing to you. Yeah? All right. But anyways, back to the story. Somebody could be somebody that you have a lot of um, passion towards, a lot of like, you know, when you think about them, you get excited, you get kind of nervous, you, all these different feelings. And they might have showed you that at some point or sometimes as well. Yeah. But there's something about this connection. This connection is relationship where and some of you guys could be a friendship where you where somebody's just moving different and you just don't understand why and you're trying and you're trying to rack your brain trying to figure out why this person's not responding to your messages or whatever so you know whatever your situation is yeah now this situation requires you to reflect do you like how this connection this relationship is making you act or making you feel if the answer is no what's going on with my phone it just went dark Oh, dude, I've not, I really don't have time for that. It just went dark all of a sudden. I'm not going to touch nothing because it'll probably stop my video. But anyways, please ask yourself, is the way that you're, you're feeling in this current connection, relationship, job, do you like the way you feel? Okay. The answer is no. Then please make, make a plan B, make a plan C. Okay, figure a way to put yourself somewhere where you do feel happy or create that environment yourself. All right. Anyways. And then we have not today. Yeah. Um, 
don't chase nobody for no answer no clarification no no apology nothing yeah sometimes sometimes everyone's dealing with things in different ways and don't don't put your life on pause because somebody doesn't know how to communicate afraid to scared to or just doesn't want to okay um i don't know who needs to hear that you know, if it wasn't your message today um, and you missed a few of my readings, check, why is my, why is my camera, why is it dark? I don't understand. That's so random. Anyways, um, yeah, so I wouldn't need to hear that today, okay? It was different from yesterday's reading, well, or the reading two days ago, but, you know, come up for a reason. But anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Um, okay, just a reminder, I'm still not doing personal readings, okay, guys? So I won't be accepting any... Um, and I'm not even checking my, 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 um, emails like that anyway. So, um, I might be doing them in December. We will see. Okay. But anyways, I'll love you and leave you. Have an amazing week and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye guys.